You know, I've often been asked the question, hey Samuel, when you were a student, what was your favorite app? Was it Notion or was it GoodNotes? Now I hate to break it to you, but it's neither. My favorite app is a completely different app altogether and it's available for free to anyone who owns a Mac. It's called Keynote. And if you're a student or anyone out there who's interested in making more creative presentations, typing visual notes, or designing stuff in general, I think you'll be really interested in what this app can do. Because looking back, I can honestly say that Keynote transformed the way I think visually and create visually. And that's what today's video is about. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, Keynote is basically part of Apple's iWork suite made up of Pages, Keynote, and Numbers. Pages is sort of like Apple's version of Microsoft Word. Keynote is like Apple's version of PowerPoint. And Numbers is Apple's version of Excel. However, I still use Excel for finance, budgeting, processing data in a science lab, etc. Coming back to Keynote, I think I first used Keynote properly in, it was either year eight or year nine, where my IT teacher one day gave me a demonstration in how he was using Keynote and I was blown away. You know, at that time I was using PowerPoint because I thought it was a pretty capable tool and to be honest, it still is. But what got my attention with Keynote was the ease and speed with which my teacher was able to throw together a decent looking visual so effortlessly. I remember looking at him constructing that slide and thinking, that is just unfair. How is he doing that so quick? And I remember going home that night, getting Keynote, being shocked that it was a free app on the App Store and then just playing around with it. And once I started playing with the tools in Keynote over the first couple of weeks and got over that initial phase and shift from PowerPoint to Keynote, I was just blown away with how intuitive the interface of Keynote was. And all of a sudden making presentations became the highlight of everything that I did in school. And I think that's where my love for Keynote was born out of. The fact that I had a tool that allowed me to take an assignment like a presentation and to do it in a creative way and to make it look visually stunning. And I can honestly say Keynote is an excellent presentation app. And as a presentation app, Keynote gives you access to a very simple and intuitive interface to design slides. Um, it has a very easy to learn system for design, inserting images, using vector graphics, changing the color of those vector graphics, and it gives you a chance to create your own look, feel, and aesthetic to the presentation that you're trying to give. From science presentations about anatomy that showcase the human body, to immunology presentations that showcase processes occurring at the cellular level, all the way to presentations in business where we showcased a brand and branding elements, or a pitch where we presented recommendations to a client. Oh, and most recently, I've used this at my workplace at the university to visually communicate the work that we're doing to both staff and students. And I think that's the cool thing about Keynote. It has so much versatility and you can take it and adapt it to the subject matter or the context that you're within. Whether you're a student giving a presentation in law, science, business, or someone in the workplace trying to communicate an idea to a group of people. Oh, and by the way, there's this really cool ability to create visual animations that allow you to have moving objects that go around the slide that just bring your presentation to life. Something that, you know, I honestly would love to make a quick tutorial on sometime. So as you can see, Keynote is an incredible presentation software, and I can go on and on and talk about more of its capabilities in terms of presentations and make tutorials on it. However, that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Keynote. There's another aspect to it that I think you're gonna like even more. I remember being in school and every so often we'd come across an assignment that involved doing a bit of design work. So this could be a poster, a brochure, a handout, and often what we would do as little year three or four students is we would get a large piece of cardboard, uh, we'd get all our text, put it into a Word document, we'd print out that Word document, we'd cut up that piece of paper and then paste the different sheets of paper onto that board and create a very unprofessional looking poster. And that was okay until around a certain stage where I finally got sick of that. Because I always wanted to create something that was compelling for the viewer. 
Something that could move the viewer of my piece of work to feel an emotion for once. Unlike a traditional text-dense science poster, for example. Now, I had friends who were into design and creating things. However, they were using Adobe apps like Illustrator or InDesign. And as someone who's just in school, who doesn't necessarily want to become a professional designer, I couldn't justify spending the money on an Adobe subscription. And there was also Canva, which is really great because it allowed you to get that professional, cool look without much effort. But I found it limiting because I sort of wanted to do my own thing. And it was interesting because one day when I was using Keynote to design slides for myself, it just made me think for a second, what if Keynote wasn't just a presentation software? What if it had the capability to be a design software where I could make posters and handouts, etc.? What if I started to look at it as a designer? And I'm telling you just that slight shift in perspective and approach to using this tool opened up a whole new world of possibility to me. And so, as a design app, here are some examples of what Keynote has allowed me to do. It's allowed me to design scientific research posters to communicate information from a report in a more accessible way. It's allowed me to create visually organized study notes to prepare for an enterprise law exam. For one of my group assignments, it allowed us to design mock-ups for a redesigned learning platform for one of our business subjects. For another one of our group assignments, it allowed us to create a branding guide for a hypothetical cat food brand that we had to create. For another marketing subject, it allowed us to create a brochure for a brand and product that we were marketing to mechanics. It's allowed us to design bookmarks at my workplace. It's allowed us to design business reports and documents that have a visual design element in more group assignments. It's also allowed me to create visual assets to communicate my workplace's message to people in the world. So whether that be through marketing posters to market the curriculum that we've been making, banners with quotes on them, postcards that communicate our philosophy, or even just designing vertical banners that have been printed out really big. Keynote can also be used to design social media posts or social media carousels. I also use Keynote to design Instagram stories and even create the visual graphics and animations that I use in my YouTube videos. And I know that's a lot to throw at you really quickly, but what I'm trying to do is give you a glimpse into the breadth of possibility of what Keynote can do. Yes, it's a simple app, and for a lot of people, it's just a presentation app. But when you put it in the hands of the right people who want to be creative and, and do new and different things with it, like the possibility is endless. And, and I'm telling you, it's really pushed me to think differently, not just about how I learn, but how I communicate what I learn. Have you ever had an idea in your head and you just want to put it down in pen and paper to visualize it? Well, Keynote is my go-to app for that these days. Whether it be an idea, a thought, visualizing things, grouping things, Keynote allows me to not only communicate, but to organize my thinking. And over time, I've incorporated my own photography, personal fonts, inspiration from other good designs, and Keynote has allowed me to take the idea, thought, or message that I'm trying to communicate and elevate it in a way that is visually beautiful and compelling while retaining its simplicity at the same time. So yeah, I hope that gives you a sense into why I love Keynote so much and some of the examples of what you can do with it. And just before we wrap up this video, I have a question for you. I would love to make some tutorials to teach students and people at work in how they can use Keynote to communicate ideas better, whether it be at uni, school, or even the workplace. And of all the examples that I've shown you today, I'd love to know what would you like to learn from me? Is it putting together slides, creating animations, creating posters, creating bookmarks? Maybe there's a particular assignment that I showed that you'd like me to go into and deconstruct, but please let me know in the comments down below. Maybe leave a timestamp for the particular thing that you're referring to and I will make a note of it and hopefully do my best to make a tutorial out of it. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching everyone. I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next video.